Salute to Knicks Nation, CP the Franchise here. You know, a lot of you guys DM me and, and let me know how much Knicks Fan TV means to you, how much it's gotten you through a tough time, especially during the pandemic. Some of you even DM me and said that you, you were depressed, you were going through a lot of anxiety, and the show really helped you get through a, a tough spot in your life. And so regardless of if, if you've been clinically diagnosed with depression or anxiety, or you're just somebody who's just looking to get your life back on the right track, therapy can really give you the tools to approach your life in a different way. And that's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more accessible and more affordable. And that's very important because in today's day and age, it's very difficult to find a therapy that you like in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. It's remote, and by filling out a simple questionnaire and a couple of questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. Try it out using the link below. That's BetterHelp.com slash KnicksFanTV, and they will give you $10 off your first month. And because finding a therapist is a little bit like dating, sometimes it can be hard, and sometimes you pick one that you don't like, have no fear because because with BetterHelp, you can switch and find the therapist that works best for you without stressing about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. And as I said before, it doesn't mean that you've got something wrong with you. It just means that you could be looking to get your life back on track. I've taken therapy before, and it's helped me in droves in terms of getting my life in order and, and getting back on the right track. So I highly recommend it. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the video description or just go to betterhelp.com slash KnicksFanTV for $10 off your first month. All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Monday evening. Another edition of Knicks Post Game Live. CP the Franchise, Alex Vitaros on the ones and twos. <sighs> Tough night at the office for the orange and blue, man. Knicks would head into Minnesota. Game number five of the five-game road trip against the hottest team in in the NBA, arguably, or in the West at the very least. And uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves team there, a tough defense. But on the offensive end, it was Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, that would deliver for his team after a lackluster first half. Anthony Edwards turned up the Jets on the Knicks and led a Minnesota 35 to 19 third quarter. And that was pretty much all she wrote, man. The knockout blow. Knicks just could not hang with this Minnesota Timberwolves team and would end up losing 117 to 100. Knicks winning streak, three game winning streak snapped. This was the one we chalked up as an L on last night's Knicks Weekly when we did our weekly predictions. And for me, my thought process was a couple things. Number one, Minnesota's hot, right? Hottest team in the West. Best yes. defense in the NBA right now. And I thought it was going to be a tall order for the Knicks to go in there, the fifth road game of a five-game road trip. These guys are ready to go home. No excuses, but you you have to meet the, the intensity – that this home team is going to come with. And it's not that the Knicks didn't, but I just felt like, number one, this was a struggle. You're going up against the best defense in the NBA. You're going to have to work. And I didn't think the Knicks were ready necessarily to work. They were trying to work hard, but they weren't working smart out there against a defense that is going to require you to do so. And then my biggest thing was, my biggest takeaway was that when the Knicks went into the half down by two, uh, the first thing I thought was this is a struggle the whole half. And, you know, Brunson had it going. You could always tell when Brunson is going to have a good game the way he mm -hmm. starts. And you can always tell when Julius is going to have a bad game the way he starts. And my concern was that, you know, we're going into half. We're only down two. But I was still pessimistic because Anthony Edwards really didn't assert himself in this game. Yeah, you could say, okay, the Knicks effort was good. And Grimes and DiVincenzo did their thing. But you really didn't see Ant-Man try to take it up a notch. And I just said, let's see what happens in the second half because he's going to come alive in the second half. Let's see how we handle it. And that was a knockout blow. This game was tough. And for all the things that you said, CP, I mean, coming to this game, the Knicks need to play damn near a perfect game yeah. in order to keep up, if not defeat 
the Timberwolves, and you look at this box score, they weren't close. I mean, we we're talking about 17 points, Timberwolves won. Uh, and you could just start, you start seeing that it was going to be a struggle with how Randall wanted to assert himself. Yeah. Over dribbling, trying to bulldoze, like overpower, you know, not smart. Nas Reed, Carl Anthony Towns, like, that's not how you've been successful, man. Like, and thankfully he did get back into what was successful. Like second quarter, he started to get downhill. He started to get to the line. He started doing all the things that was right. But against a Minnesota team that's on fire right now, that is one of the best, if not the best team in the West. You have to play smarter than that yeah. from the jump. You can't, you cannot lose your composure and try to make this a game about you. Right. It can't be, Hey, it's me and cat. You know, we both went to Kentucky. We got to see who's better and have that type of matchup. It's no, it, you, you got to play a smart game. And like I said, he was able to do so in the second quarter, but you, against a team like Minnesota, you got to come out correct in the first quarter just because how good their defense is. And look, they lost McDaniels and this team was still rolling, still man. That's rolling, the, still rolling. Still rolling. Slow, this slow. team is deep. Yeah, Minnesota was tough. And, you know, I, the calls, refs, I know people are going to complain about it. It was all eh. Yeah. But for the most part, Minnesota was staying in front and challenging everything. Okay? And the fact that you have Gobert, Cat, Nas Reed interchangeable to have all, all three seven-footers on the court at yeah. one. Yeah. Or two of them out of the three on the court at once. That makes life very difficult for the Knicks. Because we don't have the height to necessarily compete. And so you see that we didn't even really get into the paint that effectively as we have been in other games. Yeah. So it was a tough, it was an uphill sled, man. Uh, I owe I owe Dante Divincenzo, aka the Big Ragu, a big apology. I mm. called last week after the after the Atlanta win, and I called him out for playing lousy. And he proceeded to have two really, really good games. He made 11 threes over two games. So I know he had an off night tonight, but still had five assists, and he just generally looks better, man. Um, I got to say, I'm all for I'm all for a lineup change for him to be inserted into the starting lineup. Mm. Um, I think I've seen, enough of, I've seen enough of Grimes, man. I've seen enough of Grimes. Wow. Uh, wow. I know it's an, easy, it's an easy night to say that because, um, you know, anyone's going to look bad after they go for six, but – it's just Dante has more of a handle, man. He's just more comfortable. He's more confident in that lineup. Mm -hmm. um, he can just do more. I'd rather Grimes come off the bench and figure himself out because he's just not playing with any confidence, any aggressiveness, just super tentative, man. You see when he even gets the ball, he, he either puts the ball on the floor, one dribble, and then passes it, or just immediately gives it up. Like, he's got no confidence. Occasionally, he'll he'll get it in games here and there like he did against Boston where he made like three threes in a row, but it's just, it's too far and few between man. Mm. I think we got to consider a serious rotation change. Um, but overall three and two road trip, how can you possibly complain about that? Think about all the years we endured with like West coast trips where we would go one and four and oh and five. Yeah, yeah. So I'm super thrilled where we're at big four game homestand. I'll be in the building Friday. Let's go. Uh, keep doing what you're doing guys. Curious your thoughts on uh, the need for a lineup change. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I'm going to say the same thing I said yesterday. I, I say if it's not broken, don't fix it. Give this kid a chance to get through. Give him a chance. This is year three. Give him a chance, right? Like, don't, his confidence is clearly already shook up. I don't see why we have to go through it. As you see in the game, I mean, how many minutes did he get tonight? For the, for the large chunk of the game in meaningful minutes, he wasn't even out on the court. All right, Al. Let's get some sleep. See you. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Talk to you tomorrow. But yeah, see you guys on. Uh